Hey guys, this is Alex here, and I'm with Gamers for Change, a movement created to decrease the amount of hostility within the gaming community. I know that I promised we would be putting out more videos two videos ago, but I was caught in a snowstorm on my way back to UCLA, actually, um, and this delayed my arrival by a day, and I actually forgot to bring my mic with me back to UCLA, so um, that delayed me a bit and I'm also not exactly sure what Adam and Rajan have been up to recently but now I have my mic and I can get back to doing these commentaries for you guys. Moving on, first off I want to direct attention to this neat charity organization I discovered a while back called Gamers Outreach. Um, Walshi is actually a big supporter of this organization and he is actually how I discovered it. So what Gamers Outreach does is they use video games to improve the lives of others and what they do actually consists of a lot of different programs and some examples are Project Go-Kart which is a program that raises money to build these portable gaming kiosks, well not gaming kiosks, these portable kiosks to be used within hospitals to transport um, entertainment such as uh, video games to patients and another program is Gaming for Others uh, which is a program that coordinates online tournaments and other gaming community gaming events to raise funds for various charities and humanitarian causes. Currently Gamers Outreach is partnered up with this game designer called Wicked Interactive uh, to raise money for their Project Go-Kart program and how it works is for every character created on this free-to-play multiplayer first-person shooter Wicked Interactive made called Mission Against Terror, Wicked Interactive will will donate one dollar to Project Go-Kart. So if you're into these types of games, please check it out via the link below in the video description. And if you're not, then feel free to not do it because the file, um, the setup file is pretty hefty. It's around one gigabyte in size. And the game itself is also pretty hefty and it's around 2.3 gigabytes in size. So links to both Gamers Outreach homepage and this Wicked Interactive Partnership deal are in the video description and please check them out if you have the time and you're interested. Um, moving on, so even though I covered this a while back in the 14 minute hemorrhage gameplay I posted a couple weeks ago, the most common message we get on YouTube still is either how can we get more involved or something that goes along the lines of, oh here's a uh, gameplay or I would like to do a commentary with you guys and again the gaming reviewing idea seems impossible sort of impossible to us so we've been focusing on the guest commentator one and recently I've been working on this program to expand guest commentaries past Adam's community spotlight program and for those of you wondering where that went Adam was recently on a trip for a school band so he's just kind of been busy lately so he should be getting those back online sometime soon. Anyways, uh, I'm going to give you uh, the complete breakdown of this new program that I've been working on, and at the end I want you guys to tell me whether or not you like it, along with any possible suggestions to improve it. The program will be called Thought Talks, and what I want to do with this program is find people who we can talk with about issues within the gaming community. Um, an example is the commentary Roger and I did a while back, breaking down Halo Reach, and some other examples are um, the always popular Halo against COD and this is actually a topic I found a while back through Hutch who is one of the most famous Call of Duty commentators on YouTube and this topic was whether or not montage kid sniping should be okay in Call of Duty. So anyways the way this guest commentator will be chosen will be like this. So every once in a while, uh, hopefully at least once a week, we will post a video in which we discuss some sort of topic within the gaming community. Um, you guys can then post your opinion on the issue in the comment section as always and after two days we will go over these comments and find which one we think is the best and if you want to comment on the thought talk but you can't or just don't want to join us for the next one you can simply add an asterisk after your comment or just say it like I don't want to join you guys for the next one anyways in terms of what we're looking for we're really just looking for somebody who has strong opinions and can support them so spelling and grammar do matter to some extent but we're not grammar Nazis so we're fine as long as it's readable and whether or not you agree with us doesn't matter that much either because no preference will really be given to either side. As much as we like people who agree with us, in order to accurately represent the entirety of the gaming community, it's our obligation to show every side of every issue. So we're going to try to mix it up and just trying to get people from a variety of different backgrounds. Also, we're going to try to give as many people a chance to do this as possible. So I'm afraid that once you get chosen, you won't be eligible to be chosen again for quite a while. Anyways, the commenter will then be awarded a spot on our next Thought Talk, and we will work with this 
winner through YouTube personal messages or AIM if that's possible. And we will choose a topic and work out a time to do the commentary over Skype, which is a program we've always used to do multi-man commentaries. So yeah, that just about wraps it up. I think this program is pretty simple and I hope you guys found it to be pretty simple as well. Again, please tell me whether or not you like it along with any possible improvements you would make to it. And if there aren't a ton of people who hate it, then we'll just start cranking these out as soon as possible. Thanks for listening. Um, peace out, guys.